found out you're a big fan of The Simpsons. Love The Simpsons. We want to analyze um, some uh, faith-based quotes from The Simpsons. We're going to give you a quote. You tell us who you think said it. You get it right. You get 10 seconds of free advertising in the Babylon Bee podcast. Let's do it. I've done everything the Bible says, even the stuff that contradicts the other stuff. Got to be Ned Flanders. <laughs> Nailed it. Oakley Dougley. Ned is the quintessential evangelical on the show, right? Really a remarkably honest character. But then he has these moments of doubt that flash up throughout the whole series. And the quote was one of those. It was like a crisis of faith for uh, obviously Ned. What if we chose the wrong religion? Each week we just make God matter and matter. I'm gonna guess with Homer. <laughs> He's got 20 seconds of free advertising. All right. We're here to bring you back to the one true faith, the Western branch of American reform presbyterianism. You can't say the accent. That's just gonna go. <laughs> I would have gotten it anyway, but that's a pretty good Reverend Lovejoy. <laughs> Hello, Ned. If Ned is the quintessential evangelical neighbor, Reverend Lovejoy is sort of your classic sort of half-jaded pastor who does weird things and says strange stuff. I was at Bible camp. I was learning how to be more judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be one of Ned's kids. Is it Rod or Todd? So close. Maud Flanders. Yo! Maud, you've come back. Completely clothed and untouchable. Oh man, so I was in the right family. If you're a really good person, but you're in a really bad fight and your leg gets gangrene and it has to be amputated, will it be waiting for you in heaven? <laughs> I don't know. Who is that one? Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson. Don't! Eat my shorts. The answer is we don't fully know. We do know there's there's enough continuity that you're the same person. And we also know that, at least in Jesus' case, there's enough continuity that he could actually point to the scars. He has one finger, at least. Heresy jar. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to appear on a tortilla in Mexico. That's God speaking. Not Nailed it. <laughs> you know, sometimes even I'd rather be watching football. Yeah. Nailed it, and also you have to put money in the heresy jar. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say I agreed with the theology of the Simpsons. Sure. I just said I enjoyed <laughs> the Simpsons. It's fun. Don't get defensive. I'm just saying. I don't know if we should pray for our own enjoyment. That sounds like a sin. I'm going with that on that one. Don't. Rod Flanders. I'm doing mommy's old skin routine. Yeah, you know, I think hard, if you had said one of the kids, we would have accepted. By the way, the fact that the names rhyme is just... Perfect. Yeah, that's there is somebody on the inside at the Simpsons that understands yeah. <laughs> evangelicals. Ned, have you considered any of the other major religions? They're all pretty much the same. This is a conversation with Reverend Lovejoy again, because it sounds like Ned goes to him for a crisis and he gets that counsel. I'm going to go with Lovejoy. Hello, Ned. That's right. I think Nailed it was it. when he like calls him at 2 a.m. or something, and he's like, have you just <laughs> yeah. thought about <laughs> agree or disagree with Reverend Lovejoy's statement? Well, I disagree, obviously. <laughs> could Jesus microwave a burrito so hot that he himself could not eat it? I don't know. That sounds like Homer to me. I'm going to go with Homer on that. <gasps> yeah, got it. You know what I really hate about church? Those boring sermons. The burrito thing is just a riff off that, you know, can God make a rock so big that he can't move it. Prayer has no place in public schools, just like facts have no place in organized religion. Superintendent Chalmers might have said Wow! Amazing! Nailed it. Inner! I don't even yeah. know that name. Is he stealth Googling these? <laughs> if the Bible has taught us nothing else and it hasn't, it's that girls should stick to girl sports, such as hot oil wrestling, foxy boxing, and such and such. <laughs> That's gotta be Homer. Who else could it be? Yeah. Nailed it. Once something has been approved by the government, it's no longer immoral. Going with Reverend Lovejoy. <laughs> Hello, Ned. Got it. You got it. Guys, you got it. Got more free advertising. Dude, I'm gonna love this free advertising, man. I'm gonna take you guys up on this. Yeah. Advertise my own website. That's a Catholic thing, Marge. You might as well ask me to do a voodoo dance. So I'm going with that on that. Don't! Reverend Lovejoy. You fooled me. Was it Lovejoy? Yeah. Okay. Lies make baby Jesus cry. I'm gonna go with Bart on this. Rod Flanders. Nope. Oh, yeah. that's right. We just move one space at a time. It's less fun that way. I think he was playing a board game with Bart when he said it, now that I remember. Hey, All right, how much, uh, how much advertising does he have? 40, 40 seconds. seconds. 40, 40 seconds? Wow, okay. Uh. Hey, hey. Yeah, Jim? You ever like or subscribe or click the little bell on the YouTubes? Oh, yeah, you don't know about YouTube? That Babylon B YouTube channel's got videos, sketches, animations, all kinds of funny whoa, stuff. Whoa, whoa, There's one right there right now. Just click on it on that, or then there's buttons everywhere. We're surrounded. Get them. Get, get the shotgun.